not insider trading, but instead one of the most successful hedge fund managers in history will fight a lesser battle with the government. The SEC didn't formally charge Cohen with insider trading, opting instead to file an administrative action against him, accusing him of failing to supervise his employees properly. In essence, the SEC is saying that Cohen was a bad boss when it came to operating his business, his company. They're looking to ban him from the financial industry for life using this non-court action. Now, the SEC claims that Steve Cohen should have known that two of his employees, portfolio managers Matthew Martoma, Michael Steinberg, were using material non-public information to get profits and avoid losses amounting to millions of dollars. Legal analysts say that the SEC will have a lesser burden of proof with this kind of action rather than charging Cohen with an outright crime. A spokesperson for Steve Cohen's SEC Capital says that SEC's, the SEC's action is without merit and Cohen acted appropriately at all times and that he'll fight these charges vigorously. Now remember with Steve Cohen's empire, it is big. He manages about $15 billion in assets, but 60% of that is either his own money or employee money. So this could be a big action, but still a very big charge against Steve Cohen.